activities, diet. You know, when a woman is overweight, imagine the situation in the, in the family. It, it was the result of the consumption of fat, food, our cuisine is very tasty, people like to eat. And if you say, do not do that, but when child, we, you, 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 you convince the child in school, and with these ideas, he comes to, he comes home, and for, for, for the mother, and it is sometimes the child that convinces his mother to, to change the, this lifestyle. How to tackle this? We, you know, the work that was probably the mass media campaign helped us. Some other organizations, some other societies joined us. And together with them, we started a very interesting project, Healthy Lifestyle, Healthy, uh, healthy Generation. And the, the pupils in schools, again, we started it, it in schools. Our, the motto of that project was Unite for a Healthy Future, Healthy, uh, healthy uh, uh, Future, Healthy, Healthy Life. Healthy food, healthy life, and added to that physical activities. At the first stage, we, we, we made interactive presentations in, in Baku. We didn't go to the regions uh, yet. We are, we are planning to do it later. Um, in, in, in 15 schools, such kind of uh, interactive classes for, for the children, explaining them wh 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 why they need uh, uh, a healthy lifestyle, why they need healthy health, uh, healthy food, that it's for their future, for the future of their country. Then the second stage, they had to write, uh, there was a co competition, they had to write, to write composition. There was an uh, electronic display, some acting, it's, uh, so, so, and uh, the exhibition of the stands. Uh, and the third stage, the exhibition of posters in the parking hotel and the best stands, the best posters were awarded. You know, uh, in the two, two, twice larger the hall like that, it could not uh, host all, the, all those children from 15 schools that would like to, to participate. You cannot imagine how much these children were excited. They, 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 they had the t-shirts writing healthy food, healthy generation, healthy life, then uh, the physical activities and all this. And uh, the, uh, the, these are the exhibition of posters. So very, very interesting, um, in, in, inter, interesting um, uh, project. But uh, in our country, there is a council uh, under the president of the republic to support non-governmental organizations. And when they uh, announced a grant, uh, after that project, six or seven organizations applied, non-governmental organizations applied to that conference for the grant to, to, to conduct the projects which were directed mainly on healthy style, lifestyle, and uh, which shows how important it is. It is through the uh, patient association you can uh, you, you you can disseminate the the information. You can reach the society, and it it, it can make certain um, behave, behavior. You can uh, reach the importance of the behavior change, the importance of self-control through education, through this involving Ministry of Health, uh, of Education, involving Ministry of Health into all this, uh, um, into this cooperation and doing all this together. So we are, we are planning to, to continue that and we, we have seen how much important it is and how much it help working together with the doctors, with the doctors' associations to, uh, to, to, to reach certain change in the mindset of our society uh, how, uh, about the, the importance of the uh, healthy lifestyle, which is the prerequisite of the uh, prevention of diabetes and its, co and its complications. And now I want 
we, we have to go ahead what will be our next steps. You see, um, um, sustainable development goals. We were all waiting for these sustainable development goals which replace millennium develop, development goals. And we were, we, 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 we expected diabetes to occupy t together with non-communicable diseases to occupy a certain place in this uh, we thought it would be in the millennium development goals and now these are sus uh, sustainable development goals and we have we had if we had the in millennium out of eight goals three of three were on diabetes and now we have 17 millennium uh, sustainable development goals and only one on health only one on health but there are nine targets and there are nine targets and target three which is uh, to, to, to ensure ensure good health of the society at all ages and now the question is about indicators having this uh, target uh, three four but in this uh, in addition to this there are other targets as universal health coverage for example I'm going to finish. One is left. Which one? This one? To go here. Thank you. So there are, there are three more. And last year, in 1915, National Development Program on Diabetes ended in Azerbaijan. And now in, in our country, a national non-communicable uh, uh, disease strategy was developed under the leadership of WHO with supported it was supported by UNICEF, UNFPA, UNDP and the World Bank and it, it is approved by the government of Azerbaijan in 1915. National non-communicable disease strategy will entail national actions to be taken to to tackle diabetes along with other non-communicable diseases. And here, up till now, it's already February, the government hasn't yet started the planning, the national program on diabetes. And there is one who are very much afraid that they will put diabetes into non-communicable diseases and if we do not have national program, program on diabetes, it will be very difficult when from the budget the money is allocated on diabetes, it will be among, it will be lost among other non-communicable diseases. That is why our, the, the mission, the main mission of the of our society is to do our best, approach UNICEF, UNFPA, I, I have already started this information I've taken from the office of the of United Nations of uh, UNDP in Azerbaijan. Diabetes, speaking today about women and, and, and diabetes, if you take women, whoever you take, it is a social burden. It is a developing burden. That is why all the issues related to diabetes, they are part of the work that these international organizations do. Azerbaijan, all our governments, and now I can speak about your government as well, our government, they accept international. They are signatory to very many international documents. But when it comes to the implementation, they say, oh, there is no money, there is no, no money. They fund money and budget for many other things except for diabetes. And now our next step should be, our aim should be to uh, somehow to uh, convince the Ministry of Health about the importance of adopting a new uh, plan of diabetes, but using all the uh, uh, advantages that non-communicable diseases within this um, uh, sustainable development uh, the, the sustain, sustainable development goals uh, provide 
to, in, to tackle uh, diabetes, including prevention, prevention of uh, diabetes as it is, and mainly prevention of the complications of diabetes. And much can be done by the societies. And if it is a patient society, the doctors, there are very many things that the doctors cannot announce, they cannot demand. And when, when together with the society, as it is their right, we defend the rights of people of diabetes, we achieve, and uh, in our country, we have done, done a lot. And inshallah, I hope we shall continue our work and we shall succeed in, uh, in, in for the diabetes to have its uh, proper place within non-communicable diseases. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.